The New York Wrens, the first all-black, fully professional basketball team owned by an African-American, began their journey on February 13th, 1923, in the heart of Harlem. Led by the renowned basketball coach, Robert Bob Douglas, the Wrens were born out of the Spartan Braves, a strong all-black basketball team competing for the Black National Championship. However, the team faced a significant hurdle. They had nowhere to practice. That's when Harlem real estate developer William Roach stepped in. He offered the Wrens a permanent home court at the new Renaissance ballroom and casino that he owned. The dance hall's spacious floor with balconies overlooking it. It was an ideal venue for the team to practice and play their games. Douglas renamed his team the New York Renaissance in exchange for the home court, thereby promoting Roach's ballroom. The roster for the team comprised the most talented African-American basketball players of the time, with Clarence Fats Jenkins, James Pappy Ricks, Frank Strangler Forbes, and Leon Monde, among the first members of the team. Jenkins, Ricks, Forbes, and Monde were inducted into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in 1963. With full-season contracts on the line, the Wrens were now the first all-black, all-professional basketball team in the United States, marking the beginning of their dominance in not only black basketball, but all of basketball. However, the Wrens' path to success was not without challenge. They faced many defeats at the hands of white national championship basketball teams, such as the original Celtics, Philadelphia, the Oshkosh All-Stars, and the Indianapolis team. Some of those leagues refused to accept black players or teams, but the Wrens didn't give up. In 1939, they won the first world championship of professional basketball, open only by invitation to the top 12 professional basketball teams in all the United States. In the championship game, the Wrens defeated the Oshkosh All-Stars, who won the National Basketball League, comprising entirely of white teams. The Wrens' success was not limited to team accomplishments. Zach Clayton and John Boy Wonder Isaacs, William Pop Gates, and Charles Tarzan Cooper received individual inductions into the Naismith Hall of Fame. Gates and Cooper were two of the best centers in the game, and Isaacs was the team's fierce competitor and floor leader. Clayton was the heart of the defense. In 1972, Wren's owner Robert Bob Douglas was also honored. The Wren's contribution to basketball history cannot be overstated. The legacy of the Wren's continues to inspire generations of basketball players and fans alike. History is a map of the past drawn from a specific point of view to be useful to our modern lives. History defines us and explains why we are the way that we are. And in the immortal words of Albert Einstein, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is to not stop questioning. These are Interesting Things with J.C.